Howdy, friends. Hi, Doc South here. And, well, I just thought um, I'd uh, dwell a little bit on Mother's Day. It was always, um, as a kid growing up, you talk about people that uh, I've been doing little segments on people who have uh, influenced me in life. And, uh, boy, my mom sure did. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> She's quite an influence, her and my father. Um and but I remember, yeah, Mother's Day was a was a pretty big deal. Uh, if uh, of course a lot, my father always seemed to have enough money to go out to dinner on Mother's Day or a day near it, and that would be the Mother's Day meal, maybe on a a Friday instead of Sunday when everybody in their, uh, you know, everybody is uh, treating mom to a meal out. A lot of times, yeah, maybe he'd cook uh, chicken on the grill on Mother's Day. You know, which was uh, nothing to sneeze at. That was always, he was pretty good at that kind of thing. Or you've heard of steak. Yeah, steak. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had a steak in about 30 years, I think. But um, I remember them. They were good. They they tell me I really enjoyed them. Um, but he'd, uh, he'd, you know, maybe barbecue something. Mom might knock out some potato salad. And I don't know, maybe my brother and I would putz with the... Uh, fight over who's going to make the salad, that kind of thing. And then we'd, uh, you know, we'd have a nice meal. But uh, quite often mom got, uh, you know, taken out to dinner for uh, Mother's Day as well. Or at least, like I said, a day near it. And of course, we had to shower her with gifts. I used to like to get mom, um, I'd keep my eyes open for pretty bottles. Yeah, pretty bottles uh, out in the field. You know, I may I dig up an antique bottle clean it all up good for her. Uh, or um, sometimes the five and dime would have modern uh, decorative bottles, you know, 50 cents a buck. Yeah, big money. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd get one and wrap it up for mom. And then later in life, I used to get her these kind of things too, which was kind of cool. These little glass figurines. I think this would have been a, a Mother's Day gift I gave to mom. When she passed away, uh, I I got this one and this rather nice one. And these are, they, again, they weren't a lot of money, I, a couple bucks. But mom liked them. She she put them in the windowsill and, you know, she'd be, you know, she, oh, they always got dusted and everything. Yeah, she'd just keep a good eye on them and was tickled to have them and felt bad if one dropped off the windowsill and broke or something. It's She, uh, she treasured them. And, you know, it was, uh, and of course, in sc when you were in school, the lower grades of school, you'd be making some kind of picture frame of mom, uh, you know, for mom, of you, perhaps, uh, you know, your school picture or whatever, that kind of thing. And it uh, wasn't it fun. Huh? And, you know, moms just love that kind of stuff. Uh, that That's a mom for you. Yes, sir. I'll tell you the truth. I do... Uh, I do miss mom. She's oh, she's been gone. Whoo! This is what nineteen twenty one. I mean twenty twenty one now. Mom was born, I think, in uh, nineteen twenty one or nineteen twenty two, and uh, oh gosh, she'd have been about ninety nine years old if she was still alive. She would have. Uh, she uh, she did come down with Alzheimer's, and that was that was pretty tough. Her her. Uh, final years were uh were really kind of rough on her but we uh we got her you know we pretty much all kept an eye on her and my father especially he was absolutely should be he should be anointed for sainthood the way he kept an eye on mom yep and uh we'd actually take her down to the casino and stuff and i'd sit with her at the penny machine and she'd i'd have to show her what to do each coin uh, at one time, mom could have worked uh, probably 10 machines at once. <laughs> she could have. Penny machines. She never. Uh, she was never a high stakes uh, gambler, you get right down to it. I know I think once, I seem to remember my father gave her uh, some, uh, like a, I don't know, a $10 coin to put in. And she, oh, I don't want to put that in the machine. Come on, put it in Marianne. That was Marianne's her name. And he he stuck it in for her and had her pull the handle, and she's oh, <laughs> and I think it hit for a uh, paid fifty, yeah. 
So she, uh, th- but she went and got pennies after that. You got to be kidding. No, nickels, nickels. She went, yeah, she went big time <laughs> for, the, for the nickel machine. And uh, yeah, all in all, a very good person. Very good person. I remember as the um, Alzheimer's raged through her, uh, she got to a point where she couldn't, she was getting sick el- other parts of her body and, and in pain. And, but she didn't seem to know how to say she was hurting. You could see she was, but she couldn't say, my belly hurts, my leg hurts, whatever. And that, that was kind of tough. And uh, towards the end, she was in pain, but of course they managed it as best they could with <clears throat> pain medication. It's funny, the, well, it's not funny, but it's, it's interesting. The, um, her, her last day, she was, her last week, say, she was kind of unconscious, going in and out of consciousness. And the, um, eventually, I guess the vital signs got to the point where the doctor said, look, um, she's not noticing any pain anymore because she's pretty much out cold. We'll, we'll manage the pain as best we can, but she's, she's not going to make it much longer. And, um, we'll, and, uh, well, we, uh, when, when my brother and I got word that, you know, the, the end was near, we, uh, of course came flying down to the hospital or driving, driving down to the hospital. And, um, it's funny, we got there, oh, it, it, we got there maybe five minutes after she passed, five minutes. We didn't quite, quite make it in time. And, uh, but it's funny, my father was sitting there with her in the uh, ER, or a, a room, a hospital room, kind of darkish in the room. And uh, he said, well, she's gone. And I said, yeah, I can see. And I, I closed mom's eyes for her and because I know she wouldn't have liked having her eyes open when she was gone. And he said, you know, I, uh, he said, thanks for doing that. He said, I couldn't. And well, I did. I'd done it with other people. And he, uh, he said, you know, she saw something in the room. She was in pain and kind of, you know, moaning a bit. And then all of a sudden he said, look at her, she's smiling. I said, yeah, I see the smile. And it was mom's old smile. He said there was something in the room. She saw it, grinned at it, and then it, it just, she, she was just gone at that point. It just, whatever the life force is, uh, it, it just, it came out of her. And she left. He said it was, it was interesting. I, he said, I wonder what she saw. I said, well, she may have seen an angel. She may have seen, she may have seen her relatives. Maybe they came to, you know, take her. I said, I don't know. We'll, we'll know ourselves soon enough. But there was, um, it was rather interesting. Mom actually had a little bit of a grin on her face. I think the pain was gone and the confusion was gone. Now her and my father, well, let's see, this is Mother's Day. It's probably Mother's Day up in heaven too. <laughs> and and I, I would imagine there's one really cool casino. Yeah. <laughs> one, what am I saying? One, there, there's probably dozens of them. And uh, they're, uh, they're probably at the all-you-can-eat buffet. And, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. And mom's probably still playing penny machines and my father's probably going for his lungs at the, at the crab table. And, you know, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> at least I would think so. I would think so. And, uh, or they found better things to do. Yeah, who knows? But God bless mom. She was a real pal. Wonderful lady. Oh my God. What a great person. And uh, before the Alzheimer's got her, she was uh, a very good uh, librarian at the uh, Chester, New Jersey Public Library. Mom could, you could ask her where a book was and she would tell you the, uh, the aisle, the shelf, about where the book would be on the shelf. And, uh, and uh, sometimes she could remember if it's already out on loan. I'm telling you, she was good at that stuff. And that Alzheimer's is uh, bad news, really bad news. Very uh, something to avoid if you can. Okay. Well, anyway, 
God bless, friends. You know, for mom, I think I'll make this a Lord's Prayer moment. She'd like that. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. So be it. And uh, yeah, when mom left, the world lost a, a really good person. And I'm sure if your mom uh, has passed, uh, I would imagine the same holds true for her too. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, moms are okay. Get right down to it. Yes, sir. Oh, I don't know about their rotten kids. <laughs> oh, man, tell you. But all in all, nah, they love us all, don't they? Okay. I'll see you later. Bye, friends. God bless. See you now.